This is a two-part question to display both techniques. It says that hypothetically, two alleles on different chromosomes control eye color. You've got B for brown eyes, capital G for green eyes, and then lowercase b's for blue eyes. You can only have blue eyes in a homozygous recessive situation only. Hazel eyes result from at least one capital B and one capital G. So assuming the true cross of the P generation, remember true cross means that you're going to have homozygous dominant and homozygous recessive. Okay? All homozygous dominant will be big B, big B, big G, big G. Okay? All homozygous recessive would be little b, little b, little g, little g. Okay? When you look at this, this person will have hazel eyes, this person will have blue eyes. Okay? Remember they're blue because you contain this. Hazel because you have at least one capital B and one capital G. Okay? So this is your true cross for the P generation. Knowing this cross, we know that the F1 generation that will be produced is heterozygous. Okay? Heterozygous means one capital B, one lowercase, one capital G, one lowercase. These also will have hazel eyes because you have one capital B and one capital G. Now that we know the F1 generation, we need to figure out the F2 generation. So we're going to conduct a binomial expansion. Okay. The first thing to figure out for binomial expansion is we have A plus B to some type of power. And we need to figure out what that power is. Okay. So two alleles, right? We have two copies of each allele. Two times two is four. So our binomial expansion will be a plus b to the fourth power. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to set up the binomial expansion. Like so. So binomial expansion, A plus B to the fourth. Remember, you write that out four times. You're going to multiply the first two parentheses together. Remember, A times A is A squared. A times B is AB. B times A is AB. B times B is B squared. We always simplify a squared plus, remember 1 plus 1 is 2ab plus b squared. Okay. Then you have to add in another parenthesis and perform the same calculation. Once you get that answer, you're going to perform another multiplication parenthesis. Okay. When you get done, your end result is listed for you okay. right here. We've got a to the fourth, four a cubed b, six a squared b squared, four a b cubed, and then b to the fourth. Okay. What this means, okay. when you go through, is that this has four capital letters, this has three caps, two, one, and zero. If all four caps are present, then you know you're going to have a homozygous dominant, um, homozygous dominant genotype. If you have three caps, okay, then you have at least one lowercase letter. Okay. Two caps, you have several different combinations. It can be both capital B's, capital G's, or a mixture of the two. One capital, it's either going to be a B or G, and then zero caps means that you have all recessive traits. Remember that big B and big G means that you're going to have hazel eyes. So this will have hazel eyes. We'll have hazel eyes once again here and once again here. Okay. We will not have hazel eyes in any of the other um, offspring. Our initial question was 
Assuming the true cross, what are the possible F2 generation phenotypes? We know that we can have 1, 5, 11 with hazel eyes. Okay. We could have a possible okay, 10 with brown eyes, and we could have 10 with green eyes. We could only have one with blue eyes, and that blue eyes is very rare because you have to have all recessive traits for it to happen. So those are your phenotypes. You go through, list out the genotype, which will give you the phenotype. That's using binomial expansion. Second part of the question where we talked about eye color is we wanted to know what is the probability that an offspring from this cross will have hazel eyes. Remember, we're targeting the probability that we'll have a big B and a big G in the offspring. Okay. So, first things first, we're going to look at the gametes. Okay. The big B here, gametes for brown eyes and blue eyes. When you combine these, you have a three-fourths chance of having your big B present. How we know this is that a lot of people aren't comfortable with probabilities. So they like to draw Punnett squares to start off initially, and then from there, you can start figuring probabilities out in your head. So let's do a Punnett square. If we mix big B, little b, little b, big b, okay, what is our resulting offspring? Okay. When we bring them across, we find that three of the possible four combinations all contain a dominant allele. Remember that dominant allele is what we're after because it's going to lend us to that overall hazel okay, genotype that we're looking for. Okay. So three-fourths of our offspring have the big B. That is the probability that we will pass that on. Okay. Now let's look at the G's. Okay. One parent, little g, little g, the other parent, big G, little g. Okay. Punnett square once again. When we do this, okay, we only find that one half of our four has the big G that we're after. Okay. So one half of the offspring. We then take those two probabilities, multiply them together, to get 316. There is a 316 chance okay, that your offspring will have hazel eyes.